Tyrannosaurus rex was one of the largest and most fearsome carnivores of all time. Although Tyrannosaurus rex was one of the most renowned dinosaurs, few of the fossil specimens recovered by paleontologists are The first key rex fossil was discovered by a curator from the American Museum of Natural History, the legendary Barnum Brown, and the museum boasts one of the few specimens of T. rex on public display. Besides fossilized stomach contents, teeth are our best clues to the diets of dinosaurs. The teeth of carnivorous animals are used for sharp, serrated dagger-like blades. These teeth help the animal both to kill the prey and to slice the meat before swallowing. T. rex didn't chop or grind its food. It swallowed chunks whole. In addition to its sharp, serrated teeth, the lower jaw of T. rex had a joint midway through its length and may have helped absorb some shock generated by struggling prey. Paleontologists have found most T. rex fossils in the Northwest, in states such as Montana and South Dakota. T. rex fossils have also been found in Alberta, Canada. T-Rex lived at the very end of the late Cretaceous, which was about 90 to 66 million years ago. How do we know? One way of dating fossils relies on their relative positions in the ground. When paleontologists dig deeper in sedimentary rock, they are, in effect, looking back in time. As sediments carried by wind and water accumulate, they bury older layers, so the bottom layers in a geological sequence are usually the oldest and the top layers the youngest. To date rocks and fossils precisely, scientists can measure the amounts of particular radioactive elements, often radiocarbon or potassium present, to determine when a rock was formed or when the animal died. Sometimes animal bones, like the trunks of trees, accumulate yearly growth rates. The number of rings tells scientists the age of a specimen. The width reveals whether the animal was still growing. But only certain bones preserve a complete set of growth rings. Unfortunately, the large limb bones that survive best as fossils are not among them. Growth rings indicate the T. Rex grew quickly, reaching adult size as a teenager, but the animals died young. The oldest specimen analyzed was only 28 years old. The image below shows a thin section of a teeth. Rex rib with annual growth lines 12 through 19. Based on fossil specimens, scientists have determined that a Tyrannosaurus Rex could be up to 40 feet long and 12 feet high. T. Rex is estimated to have weighed between 11,000 and 15,500 pounds 5, or well, and 7,000 kilograms with skin and flesh on its huge bones. That's about as much as the largest African elephant. Estimates of dinosaur speeds are usually based on fossil trackways, like the one shown here. The most reasonable interpretations, based on the best preserved trackways, indicate a walking speed of 3 to 6 miles per hour. Running speeds are often based on the study of biomechanics. Researchers study the muscles and body design of large living animals and the stress on the body caused by running. Applying this research to extinct animals, they think that T. Rex was a slow runner, achieving perhaps only about 10 miles 16 kilometers per hour, about as fast as an average human runner. These experts say size slowed T. Rex down. But why is it so hard to be big and fast? Bones, muscles, and posture all play a part. Over the course of the following couple of years, he and his group would proceed to find a few additional examples on endeavors out west. Henry Fairfield Osborne, then at that point, the leader of the historical center, gave the dinosaur its name in 1905, Tyrannosaurus Rex, reptile lord. In 1902, Barnum Brown then, at that point, an associate guardian for the Division of Vertebrate Fossil Science at the American Gallery of Normal History. Recuperated a halfway skeleton of tracks at the Damnation Brook development in Montana that would turn into the holotype example of a single example of a scientist and name-bearing delegate of another species.